Now let's take a look at the skeletons that are used to teach vet students about animals. Don't worry, they won't bite. Hi Shana, your job sounds really interesting. So what do you do with all these bones? Well, here at the university, it's my job to source, prepare and maintain the bone collection and we use it for teaching the vet students and we store them all here in the bone store. So do you have to do anything to preserve these bones? What we have to do is we keep them in this bone storeroom, which is temperature controlled and also humidity controlled. We have to be very gentle when we handle them and we make sure we've got clean hands and also the students will sometimes wear gloves. Wow, that's cool. So can you explain to us what anatomy is? Well, anatomy is the study of animals or people and we're just trying to work out and the vet students can learn how things work and how things go together. So what made you so interested in bones and anatomy? Well, when I was really little, a skull that I found and I found it really interesting that um, and I wanted to learn more about it and learn how things work. I'd love to see how you build a skeleton. Would you mind showing us? Yeah, sure, let's go. So where do all these different bones come from? Well, we're lucky enough to have a good relationship with some of the local zoos and wildlife parks in our area. So what type of bone is this? So this is a leg bone of a horse. It's the right femur, which is like our thigh bone on our leg. So how do these bones help the students learn about animals? Well, the bones help the students learn about animals because eventually they're going to have to perform surgery on the animals and they need to know how everything fits together and how everything works so they can help fix the animals. Now we're in the skeleton building room. So can you tell us what's happening with this horse skeleton? Well, this skeleton's in its first stages of being built. So we hang it up from a pole on the roof and we run a metal pole all the way down the middle of the spine. Then we get some wire to hold all the ribs separated and we screw everything together. We also use sanded glues like PVA glue and then we eventually mount it on a big wooden board on the floor. So Olivia, here are some of our uh, built skeletons. This here's a kangaroo. The students finished building these for their end of year project last year. Here you can see the eagle. He's got a really wide wingspan and these big long claws to catch his prey with. Over here we've got the otter and he's got his paws a really long and Slender. And over here is the wombat and he's got really short little solid legs and they're for digging and foraging in the ground and digging burrows. Thanks Shana for showing us around. It sounds like you got a really interesting job here. That's no worries any time.